Vandegrift starts in a shotgun. Simo Kongbe straight ahead and a huge hole for Jamari and Wilcox who finds his sideline. And Kentucky strikes first on a massive gain on first down. Blocked by the left guard, Jagger Burton. Watch this right here. He's going to open up the hole for Wilcox. Bam, right there on the defensive end. And a great start for Kentucky. They needed to get things going on the ground. Need to sure up the protection. Tennessee goes. Complicates everything. Yamaliava in traffic. Fits it in for another catch for Kitzelman. And the Kitzelman family's having a party here in the first quarter tonight. Watch the play action. Look at all those guys up now running backwards. Nobody on the second level here on a drive that's already long. They need to bow up here. Nico has nowhere to go, and he gets taken down by Ripka. Second straight tackle for the Tennessee native out of Dixon County High School. His nickname is Chunky. Three. How much wind in Nealon tonight? And a beautiful November afternoon, and he hooked it. An empty possession for Tennessee. That Sumo Kongbe is in at tailback. Vandergrift was under center that snap, goes over the middle. That's complete for another big gain on first down. Hardly Gilmore the fourth. Up and out, son. Tennessee brings five, man coverage on the perimeter, a lot of hand fighting, and the flag comes flying in on a catch made by Dane Key. Defense number one, tell me it's the clock. These are the plays they need Dane Key to make as frequently as possible. 6'3", 210 pounds, like I said, a lot of man coverage, and I love that Brock Vandegrift purposely underthrew this one. Kentucky's averaging 10 and a half yards per play early. Pressure, and he finds a tight end wide open. Josh Caddis, and he rumbles in for the Kentucky score. 27 yard strike for a bloody Brock Vandegrift for the junior from Cincinnati, Josh Caddis. We talked a lot about Malachi Wood, right tackle. He's lined up at left tackle. That's your tight end right there. Josh Caddis lined up at right tackle. So nobody has eyes on him, runs right up the seam, untouched. Safety is not paying attention to that. He's looking at the field. Third and seven after Nico's first incompletion with pressure in his face to the outside and caught. Beautiful hands by Chaz Nimrod. Injury. Boy, this is such a good ball. Watch the accuracy in the ball location with a guy in his face. Four-man rush. Vandergriff over the middle. Intercepted by Tennessee. Turrentine got it off the deflection, and Tennessee's got a takeaway on a pass that was headed for Hardly Gilmore, the fourth. Not in the passing window of Brock Vandergriff. Watch how he throws this more to the right receiver. Late to adjust because Harris, Harrison, excuse me, Christian Harrison right there, number five, was right in the way, right in the passing window. And that's one that Brock Vandergriff has got to check down. Squirrel wide in motion. Dylan Sampson pinballs his way to a gain of about four on first down. Kentucky says the ball came out. Cats end up with it. There is a flag on the play. And I believe the flag was used to spot the ball as the official couldn't get his beanbag. And indeed, they motioned that there was no flag on the play. Main what? question is whether or not he was down. Yeah. Nico on a string, the perimeter, and Brew McCoy breaks free. McCoy first out of bounds after a Tennessee first down. To Ryan Nichols, the true freshman, tries to bring him down first here, and then Ty Bryant comes in later. Brew McCoy is such a big guy, 6'3", 230. Yamaliava has time until he does it, and he somehow escapes a Houdini by the freshman just to fight his way back to the 20. It's a second sack of the night for Kentucky. The 43-yarder in the first quarter. Good hold. And this one starts right and stays right. Kentucky doing a great job. Cats have run for 12 yards a carry. Vandergrift pressure, and he gets thrown to the ground by Omari Thomas. Oh. 
Here's Lewis. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. First score of the night for the Volunteers. Lewis taking advantage of an opportunity behind Dylan Sampson tonight. And out of dark mode Saturday night. Yamaliava pressured over the middle and a bobble and a catch for Nimrod. A Tennessee first down there. Billy Halsley, the offensive coordinator for Tennessee, just going pedal to the metal this half. There goes Sampson. Spins away. Spins again. And a first down run for Dylan Sampson. But watch this block coming across. Bam, getting the defensive end or linebacker, excuse me, out of the way, blowing the hole for Dylan Sampson. Little slow to get up, but Dylan Sampson getting right back on track, like we mentioned. Another kick here to see if Tennessee can tie it up. So a 34-yard attempt now from Gilbert. High snap. And this one's wide left. Special teams disaster tonight. Play action. Vandergrip pressured. And he gets Tamich and lost the football. Tennessee ball. The talented Tennessee defensive front. Watch the speed rush. On the outside, Wood just doesn't get enough depth on that first step. Joseph's able to turn the corner on him. And as we mentioned, these max protection plays from Kentucky take time to develop. And that was the only one-on-one -on -one across the board. And Joseph's won it. Short field for Nico Iamaliava in Tennessee. And also I'm throwing this telly. Hand off. Bounce to the outside. And touchdown, Dylan Sampson from seven yards out. And he has tied the Tennessee single season rush record. And he goes straight thriller on his first score of the night. That springs Sampson right here, working on Zion Childress. Watch this block. This is all effort right here. Mans him up, gets outside of him. And Dylan Sampson breaks the tackle of Jordan. Lowe. First and 20. Vandegrift trying to take off again. Big block from his running back, Sumo Kongbe, to help out Vandegrift and pull back. Well, these are the decisions he's got to continue to make. James Pierce was making. Pressure from the edge. And up the middle. And Vandegrift absolutely smoked by James Pierce. Pressure coming, gets rid of it quick, it's picked up! It's Will Brooks! And this will be Will Brooks trying to make his second pick six of the year! And it's jammed down by Wimsat! Bring pressure off the edge, roll into man coverage. Brooks comes down from that safety spot right over Josh Caddis. Read the eyes of Gavin Wimsat the whole way. What a year it's been for Brooks. Nearly his second long pick six. On second and goal. Yamaliyama to the inside. Miles Kitzelman. Samson the decoy that time, and it's a six-yard strike. Actually, with a great adjustment. This is supposed to be a throwback. Look at him in your screen right there. He, he was looking for the ball to go to the other side of the field, but because of the pressure chasing. Third and nine, four-man rush. Wims it. Delivers a dart to midfield, and Dane Key has a Kentucky first down. That was a silence. Here comes pressure. Wims it. Stands tall. Man coverage to the corner of the end zone. It is caught. Touchdown, Jamari Macklin. The transfer from North Texas finds his first score of the year, and he comes up big in his fourth quarter in Neyland. Throw from Gavin Wimsat. Look at the one-handed catch, tight coverage from McCoy in perfect phase, but just a better ball and a better catch. And now they're going to go for two. Pressure from the edge. Sumo Kongbe picks it up, wins it into the end zone. It is caught for a two-point conversion. It's Macklin again.
And a huge block by Demi Sumo Karngbe. And another back hip catch here by Jamori Macklin. Second and eight. Wimson hands it off to Sumo Karngbe. And he got popped just shy of midfield, but a first down run for Kentucky. And here goes Sampson. Stutter step and a change of direction and a first down. A back to back runs for Tennessee. Wimson right now. And a QB draw. There's one way to do it. And Wimzat picks up the first down. And I love it. Leaning on the defense, not as high profile. They might be playing more close games than they had in the past, looking back to like 22, for example. Yeah, which that's fine because they find a way to control it. They find a way to get momentum and win late, get the offense going after slow starts. And still just scratching at the surface. There's still just a couple of those deep shots that could have hit big today. Offense is still very capable of putting up a lot of points. Just still a hair off here, a hair off there. But thanks to this elite defense, if you score 20, you're winning if you're Tennessee. They've done that eight times. I'm